Ducati Panigale V4S 2022. Test and Review The 2022 Ducati Panigale V4S is one of the fastest and most complex production motorcycles in the world, and it was very interesting to test it in its natural environment, that is, on the track. But here's the thing, a super powerful bike is not easy to harness and ride at full power, and that's why when it comes to making the fastest bike, it's not so much about the all-destroying power of the motor, but about making it as much as possible. Accessible and manageable, useful, and engineering teams are working to make existing models more convenient and easy to manage. Sometimes everything is limited to algorithms of onboard assistance and fuel maps, and sometimes manufacturers seriously bother with mechanical aspects that make the motorcycle a little more obedient at the most ferocious speeds and modes. The Ducati Panigale V4S 2022, however, has received both upgrades to make it an even better track rig that requires less effort and allows more efficient use of riding technique. But these improvements are quite subtle, a couple of millimeters here, a couple of degrees there, and affect the behavior of the bike primarily at high speeds and high lean angles. So it turns out that the only way to feel and appreciate the changes is practice, that is, the track. Ducati Panigale V4S 2022 What's New? The most obvious and clearly noticeable changes are the Panigale's aerodynamic fenders, which have become smaller in the 2022 version, but at the same time provide the same downforce 4 kg per hundred and almost 37 kg at 300 km h. Additional air ducts in the fairing increase airflow to the cooling system, the seat is flatter and less sloped, and the tank near the seat is slightly wider, while increasing in volume by a liter. Less obvious, but no less important improvements are in geometry and mechanics. The swing arm axle has been moved 4 mm higher and the gearbox ratios have been changed. So, the first gear became longer by 11.6% and the second by 5.6, which made the shifting smoother and the gears more comfortable in slow turns on the track. Sixth gear is also made slightly higher, by 1.8%, to increase top speed by several kilometers per hour. Pendants. The Olin's NPX gas charged fork has graced the front of the Panigale V4S since 2022. It has slightly softer springs. The new fork works in tandem with an Olin's TTX 36 monoshock, same as the previous version, and both suspensions are connected to an event-based electronic control system that is, providing dynamic responses to chassis behavior when the rider can in the bike settings menu. For example, add slash reduce the stiffness of the fork on braking instead of manual adjustments on the suspension components themselves. There is also a fixed mode in which any dynamic responses are disabled, i.e. suspension smoothing settings are selected in the motorcycle menu and do not change on the fly. Engine Before moving on to the mini electronics on this great superbike, it's worth mentioning that mechanically, the 1,103 cubic centimeters V4 on the 2022 Panigale V4 has largely remained the same. The motor is still an element of the power structure, the rear subframe and swing arm are attached to it from behind, and the front subframe connects the engine to the fork. In the American version, the motor gave up a little due to noise regulations, but still produces a damn healthy 210 horsepower and more than 122 newton meters of thrust. One of the big improvements in the Panigale V4 electronics is the ECU power maps. Ducati each of the four power modes, low, medium, high and full, has been even more carefully thought out and even developed a different response pattern for each gear depending on the selected driving mode. You see, as it turned out, different peak power in different gears is unacceptable according to the requirements of environmental standards, but the nature of the response and traction can be changed. Test Ducati Panigale V4S 2022 In the previous version, traction was equally limited in first and second gear, a little more was available in third, and in fourth and higher, an even more traction map was used. But in order to update the Panigale V4 for 2022, on the medium and high power maps, the bike sets slightly higher traction parameters for each specific gear. On the low power map, it peaks at only 150 horsepower and is designed for road and track riding in the rain. In full power mode, traction is limited only in first gear, and in all others, all engine resources are available.